Hi, Derek Mahoney giving you an update on mixed dentition treatment for children who are normally between the ages of 9 uh, to uh, 11. And um, what we're doing in mixed dentition treatment is we're making space for teeth that normally would not have room and we'd normally have to extract. So um, let's look at the poster boy for the uh, Damon system. Uh, this is young Cody Banks. Uh, and Cody's case is written up beautifully here by Dr. Damon in the Damon Manual. So if anyone wants a copy of this excellent book, you can no longer buy it, but we have a scanned copy that I'm happy to send to anyone. So if we look at Cody's profile, the one thing I want to show you is that he has a strong chin. And the last thing we want to do is to remove teeth that would flatten the lip and make his uh, profile less attractive, right? So what we see though as a problem is that his canines, one, two, three, four, uh, have no room. Why do they have no room? It's not that his canines are bigger than they should be or that he has too many teeth. The problem is that his palate is narrow. And if you look at some of the work uh, by Dr. Maurice, who was talking about development of the dentition, um, they discussed the distance between the first molars uh, if it's 37 millimeters or greater, there's less chance of crowding. Um, Cody's distance here is much narrower. So if we look at his bite, he's got a class two relationship because his maxilla is narrow and it's trapping his mandible. And if we look at the canines, one, three, two, three, 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 four, three, and um, none of them have room. One is not erupted at all. One is partially erupted and you can see the tips of the maxillary canine. So what would you do in a situation like this? When I went to ortho school, we would say, based on millimeters of crowding, there's no room, we're gonna to have to take teeth out, and I'd start what's called serial extraction, right? Now, rather than just measure millimeters of crowding, I look at the face. And I still take teeth out, but that's if the face is really full, and I need to extract and retract. In a case like this, where the face is flat, I prefer not to extract teeth. So how do we make room? We start with just, four braces. These are low torque braces because I don't want tipping. Um, and um, we level and align the four incisors using a sectional wire. It's an 014 copper night eye wire. Once we have uh, those teeth leveled and aligned, we then go to a stronger wire. I like to use a 1425 copper night eye wire and I add compressed core spring. How much core spring do I add? I measure the distance from the terminal molar to the lateral and I activate it by one bracket width. So I'm basically just letting the coil go mesial of the bracket, I push it uh, at the distal of the bracket. And that's just the right amount of activation to get the space we need. Now remember, we are not tipping the teeth, you'll see that in a minute. If we were tipping the teeth, it would be very unstable and the patient's profile would change. What we're doing is getting lateral development. This is like a Frankel effect. So what I do when I'm doing two by four, I'm working with my oral myologist, very important, to get the tongue up on the palate. If the tongue's on the palate and these core springs keep the buccinators away, that's just like a Frankel. Tongue on the palate, lips together, breathe through the nose, keeps the buccinators at bay, and what we're able to do is create space for the teeth. Now look at this case visit by visit, and all of these you'll see in the workbook. I want you to see the canine that had no room is now coming through into a, a good position. So, um, so the concept of treatment is to get in early so that you can redirect the canines from where they're going to impact, where they're going to erupt ectopically into the space where they would need to stay. Right? So if we look at Cody's end result, you can see a pleasing facial profile, nice broad smile. Cody still has the trendy haircut, you can tell. Um, but look at that for an occlusion. That's just amazing. And um, that would not have been achieved with traditional orthodontics by removing four teeth. Look at uh, Cody's original position. I put a dot on his canine, number 43. Look at 43 now, right? 4-3 uh, literally had no space. You had the lateral and the premolar touching. The space was created by use of light night eye coil spring. The best periodontal response occurs on the canine that was fully unerupted. Why? Because if there's no room for canines and they then erupt, they erupt in the zone of um, attached gingiva, 
um, and the concept there is you're not going to get the good gingival margin. So that's why I'm a big advocate to do this before canines are up, not when the canines are already there. So in summary, Cody was probably a little bit older than he should have been to start this case. So please, I want every dentist, every orthodontist, every pedodontist to understand that the ideal age for orthodontic treatment for the first consultation is not 14, 15, you know. By then the canines have no room and we have a situation where even if we align them non-extraction, we're not going to get a good periodontal response. Have a look at what people are saying, such as the AAO, right? The American Orthodontic Association says your child's first orthodontic checkup should be by age seven. And one of the reasons they give for that is to make room for the canines. So I'm sending a message out to the population that if you have a child seven to nine years old, take them to an orthodontist for a consultation, get the panorex radiograph, look at where the canines are. If there's no room or they're erupting at a bad angle, you can do things to change the eruption and make the room. And by using light forces, um, low friction, uh, the Damon system, uh, we're able to achieve very good biological results without the expense of pushing teeth out of the bone and all the things that would happen when we tried these techniques with traditional orthodontic forces. If you want more information on D-Gainer, on 2x4, on what type of core spring, please send me an email. I'm very happy to help you understand the concept. I kind of get depressed when I see a kid come in referred by their general dentist at 14 who has no room for their canines. You know, it's much harder for me to achieve a result. Stability may not be as good. Send me an email, I'll send you the book, I'll send you cases, I'll help you. Uh, we wanna do the best for our kids. Thank you.